This video is to showcase a very special Sabre Forge custom Sabre. Uh, it is the Talon and it has been, as you can see, powder coated and clear coated um, uh, mahogany um, with the black stripes. It has the custom rubber grip and some thumb screws were added so that you can very, very quickly, with or without a tool, um, swap it over and put in the blade plug and the blade itself. The six fonts that are installed, it does come with the um, Spark 2 color and it has the Hero tier and it currently comes with these six fonts, the Dark Order, Dark Side Relic, Shepherd, Frozen Winds, Predator and 501 Commander. And um, as you can see, um, each of them is set for like different colors, a different blast color and a different flash on clash color. So let me show you how it works. Uh, first of all, um, when we pull out the kill key, it has been customized so that um, these lights flicker in various different patterns depending on whether it's clashing, um, whether it's in operation, whether it's in standby. And so first of all, let me just get the blade plug here. I have loosened this up here. And as you can hear, it was still a, a pretty um, solid connection. But if you want to tighten it for dueling, you just turn these some screws tight. So, I'll just show you briefly how this works. So the top button is the activation button. First color is the Dark Order, and that was magenta. And then the bottom button is your auxiliary switch. So that does a quick, quick, quick click rather does the blast color a long click and hold switches the flash on and then press it again to just release it back to normal so you can hear some of the clash sounds as well and um, I didn't tighten those down which is why that's loosening there so let me just show you those quickly so that was the first one. We'll do two more like this and then um, the other three I guess we'll do with the blade in as well. So press it once and it will tell you what the current font is. If you press it twice quickly in succession it'll move to the next font. The dark side relic. And this is the red one. Nice, Very nice beautiful red on that one. Yellow flash. Oh, sorry, yellow blast, orange flash on clash. And again, long press on the main button switches it off. Two presses again to change it. And this is, I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera, but this is a nice orange colour. Yellow Blast, kind of a magenta um, for the flash on clash there, so let's just swap this in and show you it with the blade in as well, it's fairly tough one handed, but we'll make it work. tighten it down just a little bit and you can um, if you're dueling you can do it with a tool as well to really tighten it down but for most purposes uh, hand tightening is fine you know if you like playing in the garden or whatever with the kids oh I never changed the font there so that's actually um, the same um, shepherd mass effect one Frozen wins. See, it's 
kind of a nice eerie um, use of the blue. So even though I've included some Jedi type colours, I've tried to include you know darker fonts so that it kind of still fits the Sithy theme and it seems a little more creepy than it um, does. I'll, I'll call this the Jedi. So there's something out there waiting for us. Of course, you can't um, you can't have something like this without having a little predator in there as well, right? So this kind of a yellowish, um, um, yeah, may, maybe slight, slightly off yellow, um, li little sort of like um, lime green as well. And the final fun. This is probably the one that sounds most like a traditional lightsaber. I've tried to make all the other sound effects kind of a little interesting, you know, to kind of fit the theme. And also, pay careful attention to these as well. So you see the light pattern when it's just on the general sort of hum. When you blast, that also lights as well. And when you flash on flash, you can see that's flickering there. Uh, all of these effects are customizable. Um, you just take the SD card out of the back. Um, but um, for the most part, I think I've actually got it um, pretty much where I would like it. So, um, as you can see, um, pretty good value for money. Uh, just as a reminder, it comes with the hilt itself that does have the custom accent lights, the recharge port there, the kill key um, which switches those lights off and stops the battery from draining, the blade plug, a brand new charger in the box, the blade itself and these are currently the fonts and um, the colours that are installed but all of that is um, customizable as you wish. Uh, it takes any C fonts. So. Uh, hopefully talk to you soon if you have any questions.